Hello, in this tutorial I'll show you how to analyze with Pebble Juggler nanoparticle lists comprising non-spherical nanoparticles. Since uh, I want now to change sample, I have to delete these lists and this, as you can see, cannot be done by pressing the close button of the corresponding window, but has to be done by using this delete list button. Now I'm ready to load the list I'm interested in. Which is the result of pebbles fitting elliptical or better ellipsoidal nanoparticles. I press the Analyze button and now I'm interested in, in addition to the equivalent diameter, also to the major diameter, distribution, minor diameter, azimuth, that is the orientation of the ellipse in the image plane, shape factor, that is the ratio of the major to the minor diameter. I press OK and I fit single log normals to each diameter distribution. Let's have a look at the distribution of the orientation between 0 and 180 degrees and it seems that this distribution is not homogeneous but there are some preferred orientations about 0 and 90 degrees. These are the distributions of the minor diameter, major diameter and equivalent diameter. This sample is not very monodispersed. Probably it's composed of more than one distribution but as I told you before, the real numbers are the statistical parameters related to the global distribution. Any subdivision of the experimental distribution into sub-distribution is always arbitrary, more or less. Last, I would like to have a look at the distribution of the shape factors, that is the ratios of the major to minor diameter. These nanoparticles are really not ellipsoidal. We have with other techniques shown that these are octahedra and however it is nice that the shape factor distribution goes from 1 to about 1.4 that is exactly the shape factor distribution expected by randomly placing an octahedron on a plane. Ideally, the shape factor distribution ranges from 1 to the square root of 2, which is slightly larger than 1.4. So this shape factor distribution is consistent with the presence of rounded edge octahedral nanoparticles. In the next tutorial I'll show you how to try to analyze plurimodal distributions.